So you want to add audio to your game, but you don't know how. Don't worry, I've set up a community content called Audio Manager Tools, and we're going to jump in and check out how to set that up for your game. So when you're ready, open up the core games editor. So we'll go to create. I'm going to create a new project or use a pre-existing project if you'd like. I'm going to start a project and I'm going to call it Audio Manager Tools. Example. I'm going to hit create. Once it's opened up, let's go to community content and download the community content. Uh, if you can't find this window, just head up to the windows at the top and click community content and then it'll pop it down here. Uh, so to access it in community content, just hit audio and it will pop up with all these community content. Uh, we want this one, the audio manager tool. So let's just import that. And it will pop it into our project content. It will be under imported content view, but because it's my content, it's under my shared content. So we're going to double click that and we'll have four different templates. The one we want to look at initially is the example background, environment audio triggers. Let's just click and drag that into the hierarchy. Let's push this back down. And as you can see, we have three triggers or four triggers and the spawn point. So if we just press play for now, just test out all the audio, just stand in for a bit. Um, but yeah, so exit that. Once you've experienced that, let's just go ahead and delete this and we're going to create our own trigger now instead. So to do that, we're going to go back to project content, background audio, and just click this template background environment audio triggers. Click and drag. And what we're going to do from here is edit it. So the first thing we're going to do is deinstance this. So let's deinstance this project. And we're just going to call it um, background audio triggers. And then we're going to click it, right click, and we're going to create a new template from this. So as to not override the save template. So if we open these back up, you'll notice the zone zero one trigger is red. So the reason for this is it's probably missing a missing object component. Uh, so if we click on and go down its properties, you can see in the custom section, all music tracks folder is missing object. So all we need to do is drag, click, left click and drag the all music tracks folder into the missing. And as you can see, we'll just update the template and it will fix it for us. Now that we've done that, let's actually look at what this folder structure is. Uh, so in the background audio triggers, this is the parent object just for everything contained in here. Uh, so make this a name that you're going to identify with easily in the hierarchy or in search. Uh, then client context. So this community content is only client side only, hence why it's all contained in the client context. Um, so these need to be there. Uh, and then you got the all music tracks folder. So what this contains is every triggers audio tracks. In this case, it's got zone zero one trigger audio track uh, for this trigger. And as you can see, there's quite a few in there, but that's okay. We'll discuss that later. Then you got the zone zero one trigger. So what this is, is the trigger that holds all the scripts um, that will enable us to play audio at certain times. And then you've got the one shot triggers, which I'll go into briefly at the end of this video. Now that we've briefly looked at the folder structure, let's actually start changing things to this to make our own trigger. So go ahead and delete in the zone zero one trigger, any duplicates. So in this case, we want to get rid of zone audio trigger, sound effects audio trigger, sound effects audio trigger here, and just those three. So we'll right click and then we'll delete. Deinstance the delete, that's fine. So then we're left with sound effects audio trigger, the zone audio trigger script, and zone enabled script. And the cube, the cube is just there for a visual representation, um, as we can see. Yeah. So we can delete that later on once we've actually happy with the trigger and we want to change the shape of the trigger. Uh, it's also important to note that the trigger should always have a zone audio trigger and a zone enabled script. This is the most important, like it's quite vital as this is going to turn the trigger on and off for us. So as players can't run over it all the time and just do some weird wacky things with the audio playing in the background. So now that we've got these scripts, let's change our audio. So let's go up to all music tracks folder, zone zero one trigger audio tracks. And we're going to delete 
all the audio tracks. So the next step I would usually take is let's find a background ambience that we want to play in the background while sound effects can loop on top or music can loop on top. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go to core content. We're going to go down audio and I had one in mind already. I'm going to use ambient dark breathy. I'm going to drag that into this folder. Once it's in there, we want to then untick enable spatialization, enable attenuation and enable occlusion and make sure autoplay is turned off. So your property should look like this. Awesome. So now that that's set up, we want to go down to the zone audio trigger and we're going to drag this track into track to play. And because we don't, we don't have a sound effects audio trigger yet, let's just go ahead and delete that. Press save and play and run over the trigger. You'll notice there's a bit of a delay. Uh, that is because on the zone audio trigger script, there is a wait seconds before play. So the tooltip says set the amount of time in seconds the script must wait before the audio track plays. In this case, let's just play it from scratch. So we'll make that zero, press save, test it, and it should play immediately. Now that we have background ambience playing, we want to have a sound effect that plays on like on enter or just randomly loops throughout the track of the ambience playing. To do that, we need the sound effects audio trigger back in, but we did just delete it. So that's okay because if we go to project content, I have this template which you can drag in, drag it in here. Make sure it's a child of the zone audio trigger. And we're just going to rename that to uh, sound effects audio trigger. And then we're just going to go down here. And as you can see, it's in red because it's missing a sound effect. So let's go add a sound effect. Again, I had a sound effect in mind. So I'm just going to go core content and I'm just going to search up creature ghost breath. Ghost breath. And I'm just going to use one. Same thing as before. We want to drag it into the zone zero one trigger audio tracks and then click on the script and drag that into the missing object. And also make sure the audio track is again, turn off enable spatialization, enable attenuation and enable occlusion. And then we'll update template. Uh, saying it can't be templated, so let's just de-instance that because it's already a template, and then we're just going to update. All right, let's jump in and test that. Awesome. So you hear the creature or ghost whisper at the start, and then the dark breathy cave audio come in afterwards. Uh, if you do want to delay on that, we can do that by just going to zone audio trigger, and let's just wait. Even one second is probably enough, and we probably want the track to loop, so let's tick that. So all this does is goes, okay, we're going to loop the track. So let's just set autoplay. I mean, not autoplay, repeat to true. Once the client starts, as you can see, if we press play. Awesome. Now we've set up the trigger to a really basic understanding and setup. Let's actually explore the example background audio again, and we'll go through what every property does. Let's just go ahead and delete that. Go to project settings, project content, sorry. Drag in the example. And let's just drop down these and then let's explore the space station trigger, the forest trigger and the western zone trigger. So the first one we'll look at is the space station. Uh, so this is exactly the same setup we just created with the basic trigger. Uh, so if you look at zone audio, the, the track plays, it has a 0.5 delay and you've also got a sound effect that plays on enter. Uh, with the forest, it's a bit more complicated. You have the sound effect that plays on enter. Yep, sorry. You have the sound effect that plays on enter. It doesn't wait, so it just plays it. And then every 45 seconds to 60 seconds, so roughly in between, it will play that sound again. Oh, let's just turn that off. And then for the zone audio trigger, we got ambience native forest birds set zero one. Sound effects, uh, it plays instantly and it will loop forever. And then you also have this other sound effect that is the ambience nature wind. So it waits five seconds before playing and then every 45 seconds to 60 seconds. So it chooses a random range. It will play that sound again and then continue. And then if we look at the Western one, this is even more complex. 
you have the zone audio trigger, so Spaghetti Western Dreams, uh, that's going to wait two seconds before playing, and then it will turn off because it's not looping. And then the Ambience Desert Wind will come in five seconds later from like the first time you enter the trigger, and it will loop this track forever. And you also have Spaghetti Western Tension Music Stinger plays when you first enter, doesn't loop because these are zero, it will never loop. Uh, it's actually the play every min seconds, if that is zero, that means the track will never loop. And then you got the other sound effect audio triggers uh, that will loop every 30 to 40 seconds. So this waits 10 seconds before creatures can be heard. And the bird eagle tweeting, uh, also 15 second wait, and then plays every 50 to 60. So as you can see, looking at the setup or the structure of how you place these scripts, and the timing, you can create some really interesting things. And as promised, here is the bonus one shot triggers. Uh, pretty basic setup. It's a trigger has a one shot audio trigger um, script, which you then chuck the audio within the trigger, drag that audio into this SFX to play. You can turn off the trigger, so this means the trigger will only play once. I hope you found this tutorial with setting up the audio manager tools to be easy and easy to follow along. Um, and if you did like this video, please make sure you subscribe, helps out a lot. And any further questions or comments regarding this um, community content, please refer to the forum, the core, or just leave them in the comments below. But um, I'll post a link below um, to the forum post so you can Obviously talk about any bugs, any problems, what you want to see in the future of this uh, community content. Anyway, I'll create another video soon, I'm sure, but see ya.